In this informative video tutorial, we explore the secure and flexible method of remotely accessing a Fedora 39 desktop that is situated behind a firewall using VNC, virtual network computing. The primary focus is on accessing the graphical user interface, GUI, of a remote computer running Fedora 39 desktop with only the SSH port open. To achieve this, we employ the Tiger VNC server for remote desktop functionality, even though the VNC ports are blocked. The key to this secure setup lies in using SSH tunneling, ensuring that the system remains highly protected and accessible over the internet. Now that the installation of the Tiger VNC server is complete, we need to perform some basic configuration steps. To begin, we have to edit a configuration file located at slash etc slash Tiger VNC slash VenkServer.users. This is an important step to customize your VNC server setup. Next, we'll create a new directory called .vnc. Inside this directory, create a file named config. This file will hold additional configuration settings for your VNC server. Now, let's create a VNC password for the user. It's important to note that this VNC password is separate from your regular user login password. You'll need both to access the VNC server. With the configuration and password setup complete, you're now ready to go. To start the VNC server, execute the appropriate command or service. This will launch your VNC server and make it accessible. Finally, you can check the status of your VNC server using the netstat command. Netstat is a powerful tool for debugging and identifying any issues related to computer communication. It will help you ensure that your VNC server is up and running as expected. With these steps completed, you should have your Tiger VNC server configured and running smoothly. Now reboot the machine. In this demonstration, we will set up an SSH tunnel to the Fedora server using PuTTY from a Windows 11 machine. First, we'll utilize the port forwarding option of VirtualBox Network. We're going to create a local port, 63022, on our Windows 11 machine, and this port will be forwarded to the remote Fedora server, guest machine, on its SSH port 22. If you need detailed instructions on SSH, please refer to other videos on this channel. After reboot, you may get this kind of non-graphical screen. Now connect to the guest server over the SSH tunnel. Here we are using key-based authentication for server credential.
Our goal is to establish an SSH tunnel for VNC service. Here, the local port is 5908, while the port on the VNC server machine is 5901. We'll be using key-based authentication for a secure connection. Now, let's proceed to connect to the server. Now, let's set up a connection to a Fedora desktop using VNC Viewer. Open VNC Viewer and in the address field, type in 127.0.0.1.5908. We've established our tunnel on the local port number 5908. However, on the server side, the default port number for the VNC service is 5901, typically used for the first user. If you want to change the screen resolution to a higher setting, it's important to note that we're utilizing an SSH tunnel for added data encryption and security between the local host and the VNC server. Unlike regular VNC, which transmits data without encryption, our data channel is fully encrypted by SSH. To check the status of NetStat, ensure that the VNC connection is established. Keep in mind that the firewall configuration shouldn't affect this, thanks to our SSH tunnel providing a secure connection. Now connecting using UltraVNC Viewer. SSH tunnel creation is same as in case of VNC Viewer. After reboot, you may get this kind of non-graphical screen. Now connect to the guest server over the SSH tunnel. Here we are using key-based authentication for server credential. Search and start Ultravic Viewer. Here you get lot of options at free of cost. Type password for VNC Viewer. Excellent. It is working now. We are connecting to the Fedora server over SSH tunnel using Ultravic Viewer. Thank you for watching this video.